dashboard. Everyone in Moodle has their own personal page called their dashboard. On many Moodle sites you'll be taken to the dashboard once you're logged in. If not, you can get to it by clicking the link in the user menu or in the nav drawer. It's a page where you'll have an overview of the courses that you're enrolled in with any activities that need to be given attention to. For example, in the Teaching with Moodle course here, there are new forum posts which must be read. You can customise your dashboard by clicking the Customise this page button and you can change it back to the site's default by clicking the Reset button. One useful thing is you can decide how many of your enrolled courses to display. So if you only have a couple, as here, you'll want to show all of them. But if you're enrolled in many courses, you can choose to show just a few, with a link to the others at the bottom. It's also possible to rearrange the order of the courses. So, for instance, by clicking and dragging, you can move particular courses up and down. There are blocks that you can add to your dashboard if you think they'll be useful. You can add blocks by clicking the Add Block link in the nav drawer and selecting the block you want. Let's add the Tags block. You can move blocks into the central section either by dragging them and dropping them as here and you can also click on the crosshairs icon and then select an area under which the block will reappear. Let's choose Private Files and see how this works. Blocks may be deleted by clicking the arrow and then Delete. When you finish organising your dashboard, click the Stop Customising This Page button. It's also worth knowing that side blocks will display one under the other if your screen is very small, as we can see with the Private Files block here.